Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Star Road. Last time we did Chuck Ya Harbor completely. This time we're going to be doing Gloomy Garden and I would like to point out that there is actually an invisible cap right over there. What is it used for? Who knows? Anyway, let's get on with this. This level is probably the hardest other than one other level I can think of. Uh, two other levels I'll say. Big Boost Tower. This mission's pretty simple. It's odd, because you don't want to go forward if you want to do this mission that it starts you off on. What do you have to say? Brr, this place gives me the creeps, Mario. I don't really fancy hanging around with these ghosts much longer. It's a shame the Vanish Cap switch is in this place. There's no telling where those mischievous ghosts could have hit it. Yep, could have have hit it. Wait, did he... Hold on, hold on. Could have have hit it. Yeah, okay, the weird thing here is could've is not a correct term. Like, it's could apostrophe V-E. So that of just shouldn't be there. That's weird, because whenever, like, I type out could've, I put could of, just like he did there. But that's not how it's supposed to be. It's just, that's how you say it, though, isn't it? Anyway, um could do the invisible cap switch first, and I think I will do that, in fact. So, the invisible cap switch. If you don't know where it is, you're not gonna find it. Why? It's in here. This is a friendly boo, actually. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. I'm inside of him. Follow the light. Alright, that's a hint, but not towards the, the invisible cap. Oh, there, there is a star, and you have to land on the lights, which is kind of really reminiscent of Mario Galaxy, which is also where this music is from. I believe it's the Ghostly Galaxy, or something like that. Get around me. So where's the invisible cap switch, you might be asking. Well, you have to push back this wall that you cannot see over here, and then go to the left, and there's a pipe. Like, like, there's no way you're going to find that on your own. I had to look this up, because I couldn't find it at all. It's impossible to- oh, I'm dead. Nice. All right, second try is the charm. No, it's not. Um, so, the hidden star in this level is not actually eight red coins. It's five hidden spots. You've just stepped on the Vanish Cap switch. The Vanish Cap makes Mario disappear. Now Vanish Caps will pop from all the blue blocks you find. That was a weirdly worded sentence. Or maybe I'm just bad at sentencing. Okay, so if I remember correctly... Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that. I don't think there's any of the points over here. Okay, yeah, none of the points are on this side, and luckily, there is a blue cap switch some or a blue cap somewhere in here. Okay, so I don't have to redo that. Yeah, normally, um, if you're speedrunning this game, you wouldn't hit the cap switch, because it's just a waste of time. You would just use the cap to get into the next area which is through this gate. All right, so there are five points. One, two, I'm not gonna press that switch. Not yet, because I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, three, question mark? Okay, maybe I will have to press it. That, that switch shows you where the points are. Three. I think that's actually supposed to be the fourth one you get. All right. And I don't want this Chucky ruining my day. Because if you fall, like I showed off, you die. Four. Uh, where's the one I missed? This will shine a light where all the points are. One, two, three, four. Oh, there is one on the other side. Whoopsie. Okay, I was wrong. Never mind. Uh, where was it, though? I could have sworn it was, like, right here. Oh, it's against the gate, isn't it? No. Where was it, then? Well, I'm obviously stupid. Also, this music... What's it from? God, I don't know what that music's from. Wish I did. Uh, I'm gonna press the switch, because it's gotta be... Where is it? Where is it? 
Oh, it's in this spot. Okay, should have known that. Whoopsie on my part. I'm gonna have enough to go back through. Sweet. And the start is exactly where the last supposedly point would be, so you'd usually get that last. And there's the secret star of the invisible cap switch, and we have it unlocked, which gets us another secret star. Which is actually what this is for. And it has no it has no uh, shadow because everything's black here, so it's pretty hard to tell where it is. So we're gonna grab this. And we're going to go all the way all out back to where we started. Which is actually this way. And you, normally this is kind of a time, like, this is pretty hard to do. Uh, because it's kind of timed really tight. But, if you get into this guy's house, <laughs> which normally you can't get in unless you have the invisible cap switch. Talk. Talk. Bunny. Hey, put me down. I didn't say you could enter my house. How'd you get in here anyway? Look, just take this star and don't come back. So he gives you a free star for breaking and entering into his house. Nice. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And you bet. We got another power star. And I believe that takes care of every secret star that we have in this first section of the game. Uh, uh, aside from the secret star in Bowser's area. But we'll deal with that when it comes to it. For now, we'll just uh, continue on in gloomy ma gloomy garden, not manor. Big Boo's Tower. We're actually going to do it this time. So, Big Boo is all the way on this side of the area. Like I said, you have to turn to get to where you want to go. That almost hit me, because if that book hits you, you're dead. There is no salvaging that. I believe I can triple jump up here. Do this wall jump here, or not. And he's right over here. Okay, yeah. Big Boo's not that hard to find. Just look everywhere and eventually you'll find him. And he deals, you deal with him just like you do any other Big Boo in a Mario 64 game. Also, you can see a star there in the distance. Where is that? Uh, that is where you'd probably normally get your first star here. That's where I got mine. And that's where the red coin star is on that little tower right there. You can't see the thing because it's not loaded in. The little blue star that rotates on the ground. That was simple enough. From here on, though, it's not simple. Actually, I think this next mission might be simple. Top of the risky walkway. There's something I want to do, possibly, if I can. This is really risky and stupid, but I'm going to do it. I want this boo out of the way. Ooh, I missed it. So, if you get that wall jump correctly, you can grab onto that ledge that I was right by, and that's literally where that star is. You can just triple jump up to it. But, since I didn't get it first try, I'll just go for the normal way to get it. But well, that's a pretty hard trick. Don't enjoy losing. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's also a really stupid jump that, unless you want your red coin mission to take hours, you have to do. Long jump from here onto that donut platform. Hardest thing. Hardest thing. And there's a red coin that's floating out there in the open, too. I believe that you also have to hit. I don't, yeah, the red coins don't show up unless you're on the red coin mission in this one. Which makes sense, because otherwise it'd make getting around this level super easy for all the other missions, which you'll see why. And boom, there's the star. I don't remember exactly what order the missions are in. In fact, I don't remember a lot of the missions in this. I think this next one might be the lamp walkway thing. Yeah, the secret tunnel. I believe that's the lamp walkway thing. Also, there's a there's a tube down there. I don't, I don't know what that tube's all about. What's that tube about? Why is that there? Why is that there? Oh, that's where you come out when you go in this. Okay, I'm stupid. Boop. Yeah, this is where we are. As you can see. Yeah, this is that thing. I should have gone for the red coins, or, or 100 coins or something. Well, actually, no, that'd be stupid unless I was going for re red coins, which I can't go for, can I? This is pretty hard. If you suck. Which I definitely do. Get me on it. Thank you. 
So if you fall off of these, it's like the quicksand from the original game is under you. So you'll die. But you can grab <laughs> you can grab the star and land on it and be just fine. It's instant death if you fall off. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Had to do that. The lone tree. This is a this is a fun one. When I say it's a fun one, I mean ugh. Hey you, die. Those books annoy me. So you have to get up all these, and like I said, in Mario ROM hacks, Mario 64 ROM hacks to be specific, ugh, your your depth perception isn't all it should be. Okay. Also, the spinning platforms does not help. And there I go. Yeah, this is a hard mission. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people seem to. I don't know. I don't. I don't talk to people about this game. And it seems like something that shouldn't be hard, but definitely is for me. Slightly frustrating. But maybe we can get it. You can also uh, triple jump right up there. But me, being a pussy, am not gonna do it. Me am not gonna do it. That's what that that sentence was. Mmm. Okay, you know what? I didn't realize that was as close as it was, so I didn't think I would be able to just do a side flip up to it. And here's your star. The lone tree is right there to our right. Poor tree. Yeah, those platforms aren't there in any other mission, so don't try to do it in any other mission. And Gloomy Garden's weird, in which you have to do everything kind of in order. All right, so now you'll notice that this path is gone. The level design in this one really does, like, just point you towards where you're supposed to go. <laughs> we can do that. Where's the... Where is that? I mean, I could probably do this without the haunted carpet. But where's the haunted carpet? I don't usually... Like, I think the haunted carpet's supposed to be right there. But for some reason, it's not there. I can do it without it, but... Ugh. That's not going to be fun at all. <laughs> it's going to be hard as shit. And I say it's not going to be fun at all because that one jump that I was telling you I'm going to have to make. It's in this. Can I? Thank you. So that's one. I swear to God, where is that? And it's the same thing with like the owl not being there. They're supposed to be there. That's so weird. I'm going to look this up later and see if like, I don't know. I'm missing something. I can double jump and grab onto this, can I? No, I can't. Uh, what What can I do? I got up there just a second ago. Okay. I believe we want to go up this way. Oh, not if we want to get the 100 coins with it. Oh, I have it. I did not count that. We have coins up down here. This is going to be really hard to do if we don't have that carpet, though. I can get stuck in that fence, by the way. All three of you. Come to me. You know what? I'm going to make sure I get that 100 coins before I have to make that stupid jump. Because otherwise this is going to be no fun trying to do this over and over again. Hey, you. Got your nose. That was a joke, ha? Huh? Some more of the red coins are right up here. Oop. Gotcha. I don't remember if there's any coins up here or not, though. I think there's a spider which we can kill for coins. Also, notice how Big Boo is gone. Yep, everything only appears when they want to in this in this level. Also, notice how the floating island is still there. Oh, there it is! It's over there! Yeah, I should have known that. <laughs> I should have known that. Oh, God. I'm stupid. Whatever, we can still do it, though. This is really hard to do. <laughs> I die. I die. Okay. So yeah, dying is fun. Like I said, this is definitely my least favorite level out of the starting pack that we get. Get away from that wall. Mario sidles. Always. He never doesn't sidle. 
here. That backflip will do it. And there we go. I'm going to get these blue coins, because you need to. Boom. Boom. These are really hard to get. Uh. Yeah. It's hard. Hey, you. Don't go onto space. I need your coin. Your five coin, at least. Boop. Take your life force. Now to get the red coins as they're intended to get. I believe there's a red coin up here. If I just... Ugh. Yeah, and I think that's where it ends, so we shouldn't have a problem getting that. Yeah, I think I might get the 100 coins separately and speed it up in this one, because, ugh. The red coins and the 100 coins together in this one are so hard. Okay! That made perfect sense. I hate everything, and I missed it, too. Ugh. Ugh. Do you, do you understand my hate of this level yet? Because I understand it. I understand it again. Like, I was like, maybe, maybe I'll enjoy this. Maybe it won't be as bad as I remember. No, no, this is just as bad. If not worse than what I remember. There, I got you. Now I have to go get that platform again. Off we go on an adventure. Wow, that's a that's a fog graphic down there. Mmm. I'm feeling it. It's probably the same fog graphic that the original game had, to be fair. Those 10 coins, I'm going to want those. Those 15 coins, I'm going to want those. But I can't get them if I'm riding the elevator, you know? Just going to go. It's not. No, oh, okay. I, I want to be on the elevator. You know what? Screw the elevator. I don't need this. I don't need this. Yeah, you disappear. Be a little thing. I'm just not going to go for that jump. I'm going to go backwards. So I don't have to make it. No, I had you. I had you. There it is. So yeah, you can get all the red coins without doing this as I'm about to show. Because I don't need to ride on that super slope. Where did that... Oh, he went way out there. He can't get back through. No, boo, don't do this to me. Whatever. Boom. Oh, yeah, this can happen. I could probably... Yeah, sweet. That made that easier, oddly enough. All right, seizure hour with Mario. Mmm, there we go. I believe it's right down here. Yes. Yes. Almost there. Don't need that coin, I'm sure. Oh, shouldn't have dived. This is going to be a long episode, because I'm not stopping until I get this dang star. These dang stars. Come at me. Dead. You tried, but you failed. You can just triple jump for this red coin right here. And normally you don't go for these boos, but I'm going to get them just so I... If I possibly can't get back, I can do this. But I know you can. You have to be able to go. There's no way you can. Oh, looks like I'm ending it early. Oh, no! Alright. <sighs> Nobody likes Gloomy Garden. Oh, wait. I'm not going to be able to get that red coin. Unless I ride on... Mm -hmm. Do I want to do this? I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. <sighs> Gotta do it for the vine. Do it for the vine! Holy moly. I did that on my first try. Alright, well, never doing that again, hopefully. Yeah, that's by far the worst jump you have to make in this entire game if you do it stupidly like I do. Ugh. Oh. How did it... Don't you dare. Don't you dare even joke about that. That is a no-no. That was the seventh coin, right? I believe. I want I want that coin. I want that coin. 
I really want it. Give it to me. You can get it. I know you can get it. Mmm, girl. Mmm, girl. I want it. Give it to me. There it is. There's the stuff. Oh, I'm so done with this level already. Alright, well, hopefully we can get these well enough to not suck. Hey, that went well. That went well. Oh, I'm so done. Hey, book. Fly through. There's one star. And here's the other. 40 stars. That's that's a checkpoint. We're already twice of what we're ha supposed to have at this point. Kind of. With that, I'm gonna end it off here. So join me next time when we finish Gloomy Garden. I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, hopefully. And then we'll do the Bowser mission, probably. So I'll see you all then, and goodbye.